Hey, welcome to the Neighborhood Family. Um, just wanted to do a video on planning. You know, so we all have such busy lives and I know if you're like me, I can get dates and everything mixed up and all over the place and what has really been working for me and I'm not one of those planning fan fanatics or anything like that, though I do love to plan and I'm it's becoming kind of a nice little hobby for me, but I love the planners because they do keep me organized. What do you do to keep yourself organized? Leave me a comment to let me know, but one of the things that I do now is use planners, and I do have two or three that I use. I don't do the stickies and all of that. I think that's great if you love it, but it's just too much work for me. I have a really busy life with my practice as a life coaching therapist and as a nurse. So I just need something where I can write in the dates, keeping it simple. I really don't want to spend a lot of money on them, but I don't mind spending up to $20 or so. And that's just me. If you love planning and you love the stickies and spending more money on your planners, I think that's great, you know, to each his own. So the planners that I use, I'm, and I'm gonna use this one, I just love florals and Anything that would have been kind of girly is kind of my thing anyway. So how do I do, you know, for me, I'm going to go to October, which my October calendar is uh, already started. I do like to use the calendar, as you can see here, the big layout of the calendar. I like to use that because maybe I have... Um, gotten a date from somebody like on October 8th I'm going to be with the Holistic Nurses Association from 1 to 3. I like to put those kind of dates that are in the future because this was planned maybe six months ago. Um, I like to put those big dates in the all-purpose calendar for the month and that's what and most of these planners have like a all-purpose calendar of the month and then once daily because i see so many patients a day these are the daily notes that you do this is where i put my clients or whoever i have to visit or any special notes or anything that's what i do i'm also a big list builder it just helps me to be organized so i have this planner here it's called a planner notebook this is where I put my list and stuff for the day. As you can see, I have some stuff up here. Trust me, um, I usually have to buy these <laughs> a couple of times a year, but I love it and it's okay. This did cost $10.95. With my planners and stuff, I just try to go $20 or older unless I found something I really, really wanted, but that's pretty much for me. And with this, as you can see, I put my list and I so I put notes in here uh, maybe about a patient or something that I want to follow up with or a client that I've talked to. Um, you know, just this is just my list. Um, I feel like it's a great thing to do list and to mark them off. Whatever keeps you organized personally, that to me is what you should do. And your personal way to keep yourself organized is always good. I also use my cell phone and my tablet. Um, the calendar on that. I also use the uh, timing agent on the calendar so that I get a little beep or something for special things that I want to keep up. And I need all of those to keep me organized and to keep me going. You know, I also help my husband and he helps me in reminders of things. So whatever for you or your family that keeps you organized on the go, keeps you um, up to date with special dates and occasions, I think planners, lists, and all of these kind of things are a great thing, and I really personally couldn't do without them. So keeping organized as far as your day, I find that, you know, spending so, if it's no more than 10 or 15 minutes at the beginning of your day, just quietly with, be it at the end of your coffee or with coffee, kind of planning your day with lists. What do you have to do? And then checking it off. And that is how the little book here, that is how I use this notebook planner is I write my list of things that I need to accomplish for the day. And I list those and check them off. The, the check-offs of those lists give me such a feeling of accomplishment. 
I then use, and these are just tips, the big planner with the, um, the monthly and the daily. That's also another place where I write things. It just helps me to be organized. And I think sometimes when you have things more than one place, it kind of triggers your memory. Now, as a YouTuber, you know, even though I don't have great numbers, but I still have numbers, I um, like to use notebooks like this. And, you know, these are just a great school notebooks, but they have really updated this one. This one there is a beautiful one, and I love it. This is where I write my video ideas and lists and stuff like that, um, plans for my business, all of that, any future planning is where I keep, this is where I keep this and I keep that right there on my desk. So sometimes it's nice to have separate notebooks or if you like planners, separate planners for um, future projects that you can put in. Like sometimes in there I have things that I may want to try to do or goals I want to accomplish over the next couple of years. I think it's good to have those goals. I always remember God is in control. And for me, you know, he's in control of my life. So I am not, I am flexible with goals. And I feel like that is another key thing to be flexible with your goals. Doesn't mean that you can't accomplish them, but it may be something happens in life and you don't want to fall apart just because maybe a goal you got, you wanted to accomplish at a certain time, you may have to have postpone it. And I think it's the same. The delay is not denial. Doesn't mean you won't accomplish that goal. It just may mean that you have to postpone it. But you still work toward the goal, whether that be small steps or whatever. You might have to take a step back, backward, but always keep stepping forward. So those are just some of my tips and um, ideas for planning. You know, with this planning, you can go as far as you want to. That's a great thing. I do like to have two or three planners. Just It just helps me and I'm sure it'll help others to be a little bit more organized and different notebooks for different things. Like um, when I take notes for clients, I have uh, notebooks specifically just for my clients that I kind of keep some notes and that kind of thing. Do what works for you with organization. Keep everything. It is best to keep things streamlined. And if you do use multiple planners, I have found that, you know, I usually have pretty much the same type of information as far as dates and stuff like that and all planners just to kind of help me stay abreast of what is next for me. Do what fits your lifestyle. You know, certain things doesn't fit your lifestyle, but it's great for other people. It just doesn't fit your lifestyle and make your planning however you do it individualized for you what works for you streamline it down to exactly what works for you these are just my tips on planning i'm sure you have others give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video subscribe i really would love that and if you have other tips i am open to it maybe you have something that i haven't tried or that others haven't tried, that would be great. List them in a comment. Be blessed and have a great day. Thank you.